Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Merman, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be using this Alec Cambridge 43 17 inch battery power cylinder mower for the first time. Alec have sent me this little mower um, for purpose of review. I'm not affiliated with Alec, I'm not being paid to uh, do the videos, it's all completely free of charge. And um, they sent me the mower, which is Austin's own mower. Um, for me to review. Now I have done some videos on this machine already, um, belt changes, how to do the gears, uh, little maintenance videos, how to swap the cartridges and how to remove the lawn rake for scarifying. So there's lots of videos over here on YouTube on Mixed Miles and Mower Man on how to do that so make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, if you want tips and tricks on how to use this machine. So we have just had a little tiny deluge of water, not a lot, just a quick, a quick shower. I live on the south coast of the UK. Um, so we get lots of wind and we get lots of weather, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we can get this video done today before um, it absolutely teams down with rain again. So, before we um, operate this machine, you've got to put the safety key in, which uh, shouldn't be kept with the mower, should be kept separate. Push the key in, shut the door, and then your mower is ready to go. Now, the only one feature on here, which I, I wish it did have, okay, it's not a negative, I just wish it had it. Um, and that is because of it, this is a single stage motor, for you to power the self propel element, um, you have to have the cylinder engaged. Um, unlike the Sterling, that's a different, different mower altogether, um, that has that because it's got a two stage motor, but this has got a single stage. So hopefully, Alec will release another one of these, um, one with the, um, the single stage and one with a dual, a dual stage so that you can actually operate the both both independently that would be a dream come true so it's not a negative it's just i wish it had it so if your mower is in the shed or garage and you have to go from the front to back garden you have three choices you can push it which is easy to do you can pull it which is easy to do or you must um, engage the um the cylinder by pushing the button in and then um engage the drive so the mower actually dri drives away. So, so that is the only, the only three options you have with this machine. Uh, the only other um, feature this machine has, um, and again, it's because of a single, single stage motor, is when you're, um, when you're mowing, and let's say that the, you're mowing a bit too fast, you, can, you have the option to slow down on these six preset settings. Uh, going from one to six, uh, rabbit and tortoise. So on the rabbit, once you engage the cylinder, it's quite quick. And the drive actually is quite quick too. But if you're a little bit older or don't have the leg movement, you have the option to slow that down by going down through the pre-settings. Now what that will do is that will slow down the drive, but it will also slow down your cylinder and therefore you won't get quite as high a clip rate. That's on setting number one now. And when you engage the, the, um, the drive, it's a lot slower, okay? So that's the only thing you need, you need to sort of um, consider is that when you're actually mowing at the really slow speed, you may not be getting the, the very high clip rate that you require. Anyway, enough about me yakking. Let's get this lawn cut and um, we'll go from there. So let me get reset up. I'll get the camera where it needs to be and we're trying to lay down on some of these lovely crisp Alec stripes.
Okay, so this is currently set on the uh, number six speed, which is the fastest a machine will go in both self-propel and, uh, and power drive. And I've got to say, it's actually quite a comfortable uh, walking pace. I don't really see, at my age, I don't really see the need why I'd want to go much slower. So what we're now going to do, we're now going to set the walking pace down to number three. And that's number three. Now, I'd be inclined to say it's actually cutting at quite a, quite a good clip rate, despite the fact the drive is very, very slow. It is still putting grass into a box. So it appears to be working quite well. I'm now going to turn it round and put it onto setting number one. That's number one. So that's mega slow, that's really slow. And it's still putting grass into the back of the box. So you're still able to cut on setting number one, which, I, which to be fair, I was a little bit dubious with at first. I do prefer number six, let's try number five. So that's number five. That's a nice speed. I think I prefer number six, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just a bit younger. I'm not as old as Austin, he's 60 years old now. He's probably fitter than me though, but he is. So I'm gonna continue striping away, and I'll probably double cut this, just to embed them stripes in. So I'll put in a little bit of time lapse whilst I'm doing that. And we'll get this lawn cut and see if the battery lasts for the entire lawn. Which will take me around about 25 minutes. And we'll go from there.
Okay, so the lawn has now all been cut and it's all striped up. As I say, my lawn is not the most picturesque lawn uh, in the English country garden. Okay, but as you can see, there are some nice stripes. It's been double cut and uh, it could probably do another cut in about two or three days to be fair. But uh, yeah, it's done, it's done a very good job. Having the grass comb down at the lower standard definitely does help. And uh, the little tiny Greenworks um, battery has now done two complete cuts. Let's have a look, see what we're looking at. And we push a button and we're down to one light left on the battery. So it's been able to do um, my entire garden. So I've only got a back garden, I don't have a front. It's done the entire back garden. Um, two cuts, I took off around about, I'd say four, four to five grass bags itself uh, and done that in one charge. So yeah, super happy with the actual result of it. It does seem to be um, able to cope with even the bigger lawns like, like mine. And um, it collected quite well in, in, a, in, a, in a grass box itself. So happy with that in, in itself. Are there any negatives to think about with the Alley? I think in all honesty, some of the things I thought weren't quite what I would like them to be actually are quite a good feature. So I will say that the, the six preset speed, um, I actually quite like it, to be fair. And I'm only saying that because um, at number six, it's a, it's a nice, comfortable walking pace anyway, okay? Uh, the number one is, is definitely slow and it still does put grass in the box but actually it's, it's, it's not a bad walking pace and I think everyone can, can keep up with that. Um, with regards to the no self propel without the cylinder, I don't think it's a biggie. I don't, I don't think it's a bigger issue because um, it's quite nice just to, just to drop the self propel and then just push the, um, the mower to the edge of the lawn where you want it to or for fine manoeuvring around the lawn. It may be a bit of a sticking point if actually uh, you've got quite a way to travel um, from your garage to your lawn, but I know lots of people actually make the, the, the purpose-built um, transportation things for, the, for their mower, so of course we've got option as well. But all in all, the Allet um, Cambridge 43 17-inch cylinder mower, the results stand for itself um, for a home user um, directed market. Um, the mower stripes, as it should do, as every Allet does, uh, it performed very well indeed. For the battery life, uh, my, my good size lawn, so I do have a quite a good size lawn, um, I was able to uh, double cut it and um, do it on one battery charge. So yeah, in all honesty, I'm happy with it. The machine is light, it's well balanced. Um, the only, I think the only negative, if I'm looking for a negative, which I'm not really, the only negative I do have, I think, is, as I said earlier on in the video, as I was coming up the lawn, a big gust of wind came up and it hit the front of the box and it just blew all the grass back onto the cylinder um, in a big pile. But you're gonna expect that because you have a vented grass back, right? So, that's just something to consider uh, if you're a fanatic about your lawn and you don't want that sort of happening when you've got picking two days, I suppose. It is very windy today in the UK, uh, on the south coast here, but that would be the only one thing. They could have perhaps had a slightly heavier mesh on the front just to try and limit some of that what let's call it blowback that's what that's that's what it's like but that would be if i had to find a fault that would be it okay um but that's looking for one and uh, apart from that i quite like this the uh, the six speed presets i quite actually do actually like the cylinder uh, and drive combo because it is quite a nice little feature but you know you just got to be wary about when you are transporting this machine from your garage to your to your grass you either push it, drag it, or you're gonna have that cylinder running, so the choice is yours. But all in all, a nice little machine, well presented, and uh, looks like it's, it's well built. Um, I would just say you might want two batteries if your lawn is bigger than mine, and um, that would be a, a good little um, test for you. If your lawn is twice the size of mine, you're gonna need two batteries, it's as simple as that. Have one on trickle charge whilst the other one is working. But I'd like to thank Alec for giving me the opportunity to um, look at one of their machines. Hopefully they give me a few more of their machines to uh, have a go at and um, to give you guys and girls a, an honest, independent review, which is what I said I would do. And uh, there you go. So yeah, thank you very much for watching Mixed Mows and Mower Man. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, then hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told it's time up in the video. I do have other Alec videos on here from the Kensingtons and um, other bits and pieces on the classic mowers, how to fix them, how to carburet clean, all that sort of good stuff. You'll find that on my channel. So make sure you do check out Mixed Mows and Mower Man. I look forward to you guys and guys next time on Mixed Mows very, very soon. But don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy.